to fly an airframe, but to fight an airframe and the political issues that there are around it. Now, we have to be slightly careful here because it could be part of a wider disinformation campaign not to let the Russians know when the F-16s are going to be ready and Ukrainian pilots are going to be trained on them. We have to take that with a little bit of pinch of salt. Um, there are There is training going on at the moment, but it is a very complex airframe. Um, and complex weapon systems for pilots, even experienced pilots, to be trained on. The worst case scenario would be putting unprepared pilots in a Western aircraft over complex Russian air defense systems, and they then get shot down. You lose the trained pilot, you lose the aircraft, and you lose the political will to support. So the, if it takes a little bit longer to get everyone ready, that's the way it's going to be. And unfortunately, it reflects the fact that this conflict is not going to be over anytime soon. I think the F-16 decision might be an indication uh, to suggest that the West is beginning